so let me let me very briefly in the time that we have uh, take that conversation that we just have uh, junaid was just having and just before the panel and we in 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 gap have now started internalizing it as a tipping point that something that you very eloquently mentioned 367 million getting you leveraging 72 billion is a is a financial tipping point and we would like to say that yes there are the tipping points what can a small little capital of gap can do to unravel those tipping points we also recognize that these tipping points are not universal the indian tipping points are materially different from nigeria and and so on and so forth but the the our quest is to help the countries find those tipping points what are those tipping points some of them have happened in, in the country easy to understand renewable energy becoming uh, lower than fossil fuel many places it has many other places that work needs to be done one of the most important tipping points that we feel need to, to we accelerate much more is the battery energy story that's a that's clearly something that will uh, uh, inhibit large scale deployment of 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 uh, renewable energy if we don't act upon it now and let me mention that we have in gap a global leadership council which is chaired by the prime minister of norway and one of the things that uh, we have taken up as a as a mission on a mission mode if i may be allowed to use the government term is to create is to create a consortium for best uh, partners where we are we are encouraging countries utilities to come up and and say that we would like to do a gigawatt hour of storage in the next x number of years and what what we provide in support is is a lot of technical assistance a lot of concessional finance because we know uh, this this uh, in order for the batteries to reach tipping points we need concessional finance others are are we all know a uh, a dollar per kg of hydrogen green hydrogen is something that is being worked about now what are what is in in the south south uh, uh, the theme that we are today talking about what can we learn from each other this country itself and and many speakers the honorable minister in the morning uh, mentioned about one of the largest tripping point that at least i have seen in my in my life is the is the is the renewable energy from 22 cents into 2011 to about 3 cents in the next 5 years is 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 phenomenal we have seen this in many many other uh, examples including the led bulbs where in 2 years time the bulb prices crash from 4 dollars to less than 50 cents here in this country is there a way these these tipping points can be tailored for many other countries and we call this Uh, in our in our internal uh, 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 language, a scalable solution. How can a scalable solution that has worked in India, it has worked, let's say, in in uh, Africa, can it be exported with some changes, with a similar impact, similar application elsewhere in in the world? For instance, uh, we also talk about the fact that. Uh, the cost of financing and uh, Fatih Birol talked about it is about four times. One of the main reasons for 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 the for uh, for this uh, uh, increase in co cost of energy uh, of of lending is the for foreign exchange uh, risk. Can we start something on on local currency lending? And again, GIAP is has been helping Myanmar. It is it is in fact I must uh, say that today Myanmar we are the only institution. that is in there still helping the private sector and we are trying to organize offshore guarantees to provide local currency lending just to make sure that there is the lending comes at a reasonable cost and therefore what our attempts are to to make sure that we have these uh, these tipping points these examples from all over the world where we can create tailored uh, uh, opportunities for rest of the world we are setting up i'm i'm happy to announce that we along with the mckinsey uh, 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 in india have incubated something that we are calling a global resource center for climate action and energy efficiency essentially this global resource center is a center that will provide support to any 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 global south uh, country utility to help them replicate models that had worked very well initially to begin with in india 
and then of course we want to increase our our knowledge and our and our research or outside india as well this would be a physical center we are hoping to to uh, finalize this in the next 3 months but we have incubated this center and this would be uh, uh, available to all through the gap world so let me conclude uh, to achieve the climate goals universal energy access and energy security in a reasonable time frame it is essential to systematically identify and cross these tipping points it requires governments development financial institution businesses philanthropies and communities to work together and as i said to 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 develop replicable solutions that can achieve these t- uh, t- uh, tipping points across many countries and innovation is lies at the heart of uh, all this so let me stop here and thank samir and and uh, uh, g20 secretariat for inviting us here thank you Thank you.